Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and welcome to another episode of Deep Web Browsing, Dank Web Browsing, Dark Web Browsing, episode number 121, ladies and gentlemen. Today is the day where we take a look at the darker side of the internet, you know, the danker side, just the side where we get some lulls, and then to the week that we spend, a Sunday of, uh, of looking at the uh, onion side of the web, I guess you could say, and without keeping this intro longer than I have to, let's go to our very first website. Ooh, 222 Lotto. My god, dude. You ever want to gamble on the web? Look at that. I love how they have the Your Ad Here website, which means that they, they never had an advertiser fucking yet. Not even auto ads or some shit like that. But here's participate for only 0 0.001 BTC. If I can convert that to US dollars, let me give you an accurate representation of what we're talking about. BTC to USD. Yes, to USD, my, my boys. That's about, for $6, actually, this is a $6 plan. I'll actually convert it to, uh, I don't know, Japanese yen for right now. For the Japanese audience watching, this is about 700 yen for you. And uh, just just for our Euro Europeans out there, you know, with, with that with that euro, all right? Well, I'm going to go the euro, okay? Well, five euros for you. And, uh, and, and for those of you who are operating in uh, Canadian, you know, fucking N N Narnia dollars, that's about eight. So yeah, anyways, now that we got the conversion rates covered, I'm sorry I didn't cover your country. It wasn't mean to be offensive. There's just a hundred something countries. It's not going to happen. Participate for only five bucks. You can win 1.8 micro BTC. What the fuck? One point, wait, how much is one? That's like, that's a micro BTC, dude. What the fuck? How much is that even worth? That's worth, that's worth fucking less. No, wait, that's worth slightly more. Eight BTC. Wait a minute, if I give you $6, I win how much again? Oh, fucking $10. Wow, you get a $3, $3 win? Wow, that's, that's so, it's so worth it, guys. Okay, anyway, so what is this? But how? So you send point zero zero zero. Oh wait, no, you're sending like, oh shit, no. Yeah, you're sending like five bucks to them. And if you win, apparently you get like fucking 10 bucks. So congratulations. On average, you get maybe $3 of a win, dude. That's discounting how much money they make out of it, okay? So send 001 BTC to them. All right, share with your friends, participations, and jackpot. Next drawing is 23 of 30th November 2017. That's, that's a fucking long time from now, dude. Holy shit. My God. For winning ten bucks, for winning three bucks extra, you want me to do that shit? You guys, you guys got to be high as fuck if I'm going to pull that off. Anyways, all participants. So right now... All the participants include one person, and as you can see, they publicly leave your transaction IDs and your address, which I don't think you should be doing. So how will the winner be chosen? Here they give you some computer code into how it's actually going to be tossed in. I don't really know why you got to give the console logs out. That's... I mean, I, I don't even know if they follow this actually, but here we, got a, here we got probably one of the most retarded things that I've seen. Now I assume, if I'm not mistaken... If I can hit refresh, all right, maybe, just maybe, this is a pot that grows as everybody puts money into it. So, like, as much money as this dude put into it right now, the pot's going to... No, the pot's the fucking same. But right now, all participants are one. So, being that there's only one participant, remember, you have about a 50% chance odd if you join in for this. Now, assuming that more people join in, the odds are going to get slim. But compared to the fucking real-life lottery... You could probably actually win this. Now, is it worth going into it? I don't know. Half the gambling sites on the deep web don't fucking work. Half of the gambling sites on the clear web don't even work, all right? Don't, don't, don't gamble your money, people, okay? You work hard to earn it, all right? It's your money. Invest it somewhere. Put it in a fucking penny stock. Just don't gamble it away. Holy shit. I know that I get on my high horse about gambling, but I don't know. I've just seen a lot of people personally, like, who gamble away half their shit. Let me tell you right now. To put five bucks into something and potentially win seven whole dollars, a two dollar fucking positive win ratio. You might as well fucking cut your cut cut cut, cut your genitals off and be done with it, okay? Because that is a that is a level that is a level of mind fuckery that I cannot tolerate as a human being. So you just you just got this section over here. Don't don't bother doing it. The jackpot is ninety percent of all BTC, which means yes, it grows as time goes on. But uh, I don't think anybody's throwing anything here. And I don't think you want to give your actual Bitcoin address and your transaction IDs just out of nowhere. That's, that's a little, I mean, yeah, it could help prove things if you look into the blockchain. But at the same time, it's also a breach of privacy into why you should be even using your, why, why you should really even be using Bitcoin in the first place, right? 
because you want to keep your shit unregulated, right? That's why you want. To, that's why you want to be. That's the perk of it. So if you're gonna break it, why the fuck are you using it? Let's go somewhere else. All right. So the first site we found is the Fourth Reich 666 Heil Hitler Heil Satan Heil Himmler and C Kiel. I know I pronounced that last one wrong. We will continue our struggle fanatically and without pity until death. The Fuhrer. All right. So as you can tell, this is um. This is a very interesting looking site, alright? By no means does this represent the views of, of this channel and me or anybody like that. We, ju we just come across this shit. Now this one is a very interesting site. It's, uh, it's, got, a, it's got a lovely uh, Nazi logo there, and it's got the In Satan We Trust, Do What Has To Be Done. So not only are are they are they Nazis, but they're also Satanists. So I don't know if that I don't know if that like du doubles the, like double cancels the YouTube formula out or some shit like that. But um, it is a uh, bucket of uh, how I say lulls. Now over here you can see that they have numerous different si sites over here like Gentiles, Ewarch, exposing Christianity, Islam, the Jewish religion. Oh God, oh shit, dude. They're going create 666 Black Sun, exposing Islam, understanding National Socialism, exposing the Holocaust. It's like it's like the fucking drama alert of religion. I love it. All right, let's go into let's go into this site. This is one of the links that I opened up over here just to see if it works. A lot of those links don't actually lead to anywhere. Like I tried looking at half the exposing stuff, but it just didn't kick in. Those who suffer for my sake, I will surely reward in one of the worlds, Satan. Just one of the worlds, Satan. Just one of the worlds. It's not a fucking, if I suck your dick, no matter what world, you, you scratch my back. What the fuck is this? What kind of a lottery system is that shit? I don't even know what the other world is going to be like. I only know this world right now. And if you don't give me my shit in this world, we have some problems, Satan. All right. This site is dedicated in loving memory to Reichsfuhrer Heinrich Himmler. You know, I fucking pronounced that shit wrong. He was only 45 years old. He is the... <laughs> Okay, I've definitely seen this shit before. I've had to see it, but whatever, though, it's worth it. Satanic Coven Grandmaster, Dedicated Disciple of Satan. You know, anybody that earns that title, God bless you. Heinrich Himmler worked relentlessly to writ. Oh, he didn't work relentlessly for that goddamn amazing LinkedIn title? National Socialist Germany of the Poison of the Jewish Program of Christianity. Oh my god. Holy shit. All right, let's read the very important statement, okay? This is for those of you who are deluded. Oh, okay. And those of you who have to tolerate stupidity, ignorance, and above all... Oh my god. Oh, dude... I wonder if their I wonder if their nose is tangled in their ass hairs because my God they're really far fucking up there. <laughs> Who have pushed on national socialist and racially aware organizations? The following pages may seem to shock to some at first. No, it's just making me laugh. Just stop and think for a moment. The egregious and endless slander Adolf Hitler and the other high-ranking Nazis have been subject to at the hand of the Jews. Haman, also known as Haman the Agitite, Ag Agagite, or Haman the Evil, is the main antagonist of the Book of Esther, who, according to the Hebrew Bible, was a vizier in the Persian Empire under King uh, Ahasuerus, traditionally identified as Xerxes I. Xerxes I. As his name indicates, Haman was a descendant of Agag, a king of the Amalekite, Amalekites, a people who were wiped out in certain areas by King Saul and David. Uh, this was taken from Wikipedia? Oh yeah, because... Because Wikipedia is so fucking reliable, right? <laughs> you gotta love, like, if they had taken it from Wikipedia after they edited it and, like, everything. That would be fucking amazing. Like, god damn. Anyway, let's go. Uh, now, we can only imagine what they've done to our god. <laughs> oh my god, Jesus Christ. Oh, they go about devil worship, too. All right, well, but we know you guys are about de devil worship, okay? Wait, I think I've seen Black Sun 666. Hold on, let's... What is the forum group? Okay, the forum group is fucking... Oh, the forum got disabled? Oh, no, dude. I wonder why. <laughs> Click here if you want to join the e-group. Oh, my God. Wait, what is... Does this... Are you fucking kidding me? This leads to Yahoo groups. Dude, I feel like I've shown this to you all, brother. No, don't allow something, motherfucker. That's not happening on this watch. The Black Sun... It's got 625 members on it. It was added in the last seven... Wait... About group added in the wait, does that mean the group was found? The like, I don't believe no, it was found in 2012. Its category is Satanism. This is a public group. Oh, gee, of course, it fucking is. Shanty is a weapon created by the Jews in order to weaken Gentiles. Oh my god, what the fuck?
<laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, there's actually a category of Satan. <laughs> are you fucking? Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, I mean, like. I mean, hey, by all means, if you can have, like, you know, Muslim or Christian or, you know, Buddhist groups, then you're allowed to have Satanism by all means. But I love the fucking banner picture they pick. Look at all these people just fucking doing kumbaya and shit. And then you go down. It's just JOS for adults, satanic gay community, teens for Satan, Algeria the Enki, Satan's love, temple of the prince. That, oh, my fucking God, dude. You gotta be fucking kidding me, Jesus Christ. Alright, let's go let's go hit enter and see just what this is about. So Israel is going to get what she deserves, writes Satan. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure Satan said that, dude. They are not my people, Satan said. <laughs> Under Satan was also like that Trump is not my president. <laughs> That would have been great, dude. The Jewish people have succeeded in deceiving the Gentile people into cursing and blaspheming our true creator God for centuries. The word Satan means enemy and adversary in Hebrew. Everything in the Judeo-Christian Bible has been stolen from gentle pagan religions predating Judaism from hundreds of thousands of years. The Jews cannot create. They have successfully... Oh, my God. Dude, it's like fucking... It's full. Holy shit. Are you seeing this? Our past is systematically destroyed to keep the live Christianity going. Expose the conspiracy. Oh, fuck. Yeah, take me to the conspiracy show here. Statue of Enki. How much more will they destroy to keep the lie going? How many more people will have to be slaughtered? How many more countries and cities have to be destroyed? Oh, my. Fuck it. Wait a minute. Let's go into this. Destroying our past. Most of us know that Christianity is a hoax. Oh, dude. I, it, if I'm not mistaken, Christianity is, is the world's biggest religion right now. I don't... I don't that's a lot that's a lot of people to be pissing off there. <laughs> but to what extent is another matter? It is a hoax of catastrophic proportions. A study of medieval paintings reveals a cry for help. Many of the artists of the period left messages in their work. These are there are quite a few paintings. All of Christian religious matters. This was not an option of the artists as the Catholic Church had total control. And nearly every work of art during the period had to be of Christian religious themes, lest the artist be charged with heresy, which meant torture and death. Yeah, back in the medieval times, things were a little fucking weird, dude. Is that their torture and death? I think if you even went to, like... Yeah, it's like any society of that era, dude. I'm pretty sure, like, all the Indian empires, they fucking did the same exact shit, dude. It's like fucking throw hot oil in the dude's face if he says anything against them. Holy crap. The old world was a pretty messed up environment. Not saying the new world is any worse or better. It's, it's all the same shit. Leonardo's famous Last Supper painting displays the apostle of the Nazarene in four groups of three, indicating the signs of the Zodiac and the implication of he knew Christianity was a hoax, 1111. Many other paintings of the period have hidden messages in them concerning the hoax of... Oh my... You know, you know what they say, like, if you're looking at something and you, you're like, you really want to find something, right? And you look at something like with intent, you will find what you're looking for no matter what, even if it isn't there. It's like the same shit over here, dude. Let me see. Anyone with half a brain knows that there was no weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. In spite of hundreds of worldwide protests against the invasion and the UN's giving Iraq a clean report, George W. Bush pushed relentlessly for the attack on Iraq. Of course, you also have to remember, George W. Bush ran the United States of America. I don't think anybody says no to the U.S. unless you're also another equally big country. And I don't think anybody wants to say no because you really want to nuke us to death, motherfucker? All right, I, I don't want to be nuked, dude. All right, shit. Of course, it is just fine for Israel and the USA to have all the weapons of mass destruction. Hey, 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 to be fair, there's like eight other countries that also have nukes, all right? We got fucking Pakistan, India, you got Russia, you got China, you got everyone having nukes, okay? Uh, it's not just the states, guys. Let's... Let's let's be very fair to everyone involved here that has the actual keys to destroying the fucking world. The real reason behind all of this seems to point towards the destruction of important ancient relics that documents that prove Judaism and Christianity are lies. Okay, so here's the thing, man. Like, if this was a fucking if this was a conspiracy, I, I gotta sit there and wonder. It's fucking kept forever, dude. At the end of the day, like, Jesus. Oh no! At least to the joy of Satan. These are combination websites. What the fuck? We've seen this before. Updates 20 September 2017. They're being updated like fucking crazy. This is just another... What the fuck? You could... These motherfuckers, dude, they're just leading me to the same fucking conspiracy over and over again. I don't even know what the fuck to say. Numbers 2134, Lorson. These are just scriptures and everything, too. So, you know what? I'm not here to get into this this warfare, all right? I, I don't I don't really care. The Illuminati is not of Satan so much as friend. Truth about the New World Order. There's a lot of confusion about Freemasonry, Satanism. 
Uh, to establish a free country where citizens exhibit severe oppression of Christianity. Okay, so they're for the new world order, okay? Look, I'm not going to get into this because at the end of the day, I really don't give a fuck, <laughs> all right? Uh, I just sit back and let the world go as it goes. And uh, I, I don't think we should either. We had a we had a nice big set of, you know, goofs. But please, please don't turn the comment section into some satanic versus Christianity or a ha ha proved it so or you know, anything like that. Let's just sit back and go, go to another website. Torture with things laying around by the GNN. All right, dude. Get to learn how to fucking torture on the internet, dude. Shit, get some CIA training tips. I don't know how you made it or why you did it, but for some reason you got yourself a human inside a house that you have to get some information from. No, there is no human in my house that I, I'm just reading this. And the best way to do that is, of course, torture. Unfortunately, our civilized culture doesn't give you any items for torture, so you isn't torture, like, the worst fucking thing to do? Like, isn't it that... Doesn't the CIA even go, like, uh, yeah, if you waterboard people, they're just gonna say what you want them to say. <laughs> like, it doesn't work. I mean, you're better off, like, playing mind games with them or some shit. Or, or blackmailing or threatening them or whatever. Anyways, chemicals. I, I swear I don't know anything about coercing people. That's not what I do, uh... I don't, I don't do that. Chemicals. Your house is full of chemicals. Many of them are dangerous and can be used to achieve pain. For example, ammonia. Very strong and painful. Put a glass under his nose and make... Oh, fuck no. He will probably be poisoned after a short while. Alcohol. Force him to drink things that make him go drunk. When the liquid cabinet is empty, use common perfumes. Roll on aftershave. All of them contain alcohol. Yeah. Uh, denatured alcohol, motherfucker. It's going to kill you. Or make you go blind. What the fuck? The strong acids can be found in the basement. Give him a shower. <laughs> no! It's fucked! I don't have strong acids in my basement either. What the fuck? The sauna. Got yourself a sauna in the house? Great. Turn it into the maximum effect and throw the victim inside. He will talk in a few hours and drop dead after a few more. A few more. Uh, if your sauna got a good ventilating system, the floor can be rather cold, so nail him to a chair and be sure of 100% effect. If you won't talk anyways, open the door and burn his body to the hot stones. Talking about it, talking about burning it leads us to the oven. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fuck. Fuck. The oven. Well, I guess you gotta do what to do. Turn on the oven and place his head inside it and keep it there until he speaks. Me and my friends tried a rather advanced method last year. What am I reading? Shit from the mob? What the fuck? When we needed to know where our neighbor and his money was, we placed his newborn... Oh my... Yo, this is... They're just... See, see, like, this, this is just trying to be, like, edgelord shit. You know what I mean? This is, like, my immortal times a thousand. I'm trying to be edgy. The fridge. This one's also very fun. Empty the fridge, remove all shells, place the victim inside, and wait. This is actually more painful than the sauna trick. Yeah, because you're fucking freezing a guy, you sick fucks. Cigarette lighters and cigarettes. This is a classic method used all over the world. Speak calm to a victim, offer him smoke, and when he's gotten real cool, press a cigarette into his hand. Face or why not into one of his eyes. The lighter can be used to burn parts of his face, or if you are real cruel, his scrotum. At this has got to be written by some fucking mega feminist, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, not even like his tongue. Like, pull out his tongue and light that shit. That would fucking kill a man already by shock. No, you're just going straight to the scrotum? Like, really? Why not the, why not the tip? All right, that's more feelsy, you idiots. Why am I offering them advice on how to better torture? I'm a sick fuck myself. Acetone is often used to remove nail polish. This burns quicker than gasoline, which means it is very... Yeah, tell me about it. I had, like... This, uh, this, like, ex of mine, and she had, like, nail polish remover or whatever, I had a cut. So, like, she just, like, she, like, wiped her hand, she, like, wiped her fingers and, like, left the napkin. And then, like, I touched the napkin, right? Because I wanted to wipe my hand, too. And I touched the cut with the fucking nail polish remover, and bad fucking mistake, let me tell you. That shit, whoo, whoo, that's not fun, dude. <clears throat> It's like touching the rubbing alcohol and shit, right? You know what I mean? Like, that stuff, that stuff tends to burn if you have any cuts. Don't, if you have like, the slightest cut, don't do it. Don't, don't fucking do it. Smear his throat with it and light him up. His face will soon turn black. Electricity. Okay, this isn't torture anymore. This is about killing a person. The power in a common lamp is enough to kill a few humans. Enough to kill a few humans. The easiest way to get a good and secure stun gun is to remove the glass bulbs from a lamp. Now you got two metal strings sticking out when these two are placed against the body. Zap. Another version is to throw the victim into a bathtub and dip the stuff. That's killing them, you dumbasses. Water. It's also very classic. Fill a bucket of water and press the victim's head to it. You can also use the bathtub. Begin with 30 seconds and advance to minutes. Oh. Oh, no. Destruction. If you don't want to hurt your victim, you can tie him to a chair and destroy his possessions in front of him. Begin with the ordinary garbage like the TV. Okay. Alright, that's... 
That's some fucking Ed, Ed, and Eddie shit. Knives and other sharp things. Okay, we get it. All right. BB guns. BB guns are painful. Yeah, yeah, they can be if you put them right up to the skin and fire. Uh, the stereo. This method is probably the most effective one. <sighs> Take away his pride. Uh, turn on the maximum force him to listen to Michael Jackson, New Kids, Bob Geldof, or Magna Oogla. You know, nowadays you can probably attribute that to the songs like it's... Um, Key artists on YouTube offering diss tracks. Just download a bunch of them and play them over again. You'll make, dude. I'd even fucking kill myself any days. But yeah, apparently we just learned how to fucking torture people, ladies and gentlemen. Now, how effective are they? I, I honestly can't say. Some of these just sound fucking sick and derogatory. The other ones can straight up kill you. Like the stun gun in water. Are you fucking high? Like that. That'll kill a man. Okay, acetone. You, you, we're, we're getting to like extremes here, motherfucker. Let's go to other shit. WEC headquarters. It seems like, ladies and gentlemen, we found a game, and you know it's kind of great that we find a we find we find video games on the deep web because it kind of, kind of brings our whole channel full circle. So here we got WEC headquarters. Attention, December nineteen two thousand. Music links are fixed. That is uh, that is seventeen years fucking old, dude. Holy shit, that is. That's actually almost 17 years old. Yeah, it's, it's about to be 17 years old in two months. Attention, I have some Crusader animations and still pictures for all of you Crusader webmasters. View, uh, view source to copy-paste this ring module thingy onto your web... Remember, remember when web pages had, like, little modules and shit? That used to be the dopest shit I've ever seen. Let's go to the home menu. Oh, the home menu just leads us over here. Apparently, it takes us to, like, play great. Don't... Don't don't go over here. This is this is not where I want to. Th that is not a place you want to be touching. Let me tell you. Uh, ooh, what games online? Oh, it just links you to like free game portals. I don't think you want to be going there now. That's not happening. Contact site owner web ring. Uh, show me the Crusader. Okay, so these are animations for the Crusader. Oh shit! You know what this reminds me of? You remember that game we played? Um, fuck, I'm trying to remember the name. Halo Zero, it kind of actually reminds me of the animations there as well. They're actually really nice animations. Here you've got this lovely, uh, you, you got these lovely, like, lighting animations going on. This crazy-ass psycho robot. A lot of these, uh, a lot of these lovely sci-fi shooters. And if you look all the way to the right, I was trying to look away from that, but they got a fucking actual, like, spooky, scary skeleton. And it's actually really goddamn detailed. It's like, it reminds me of, like, what Bionic Commando would look like nowadays. Remember that scene where, like fucking hitler's head explodes and shit it's kind of like if that was done like nowadays that would be kind of crazy so apparently they got like animation sprites on the game over here which is pretty damn cool all right check out animations i don't, I don't think i need to check out all the animations. is this game even out i know that a download link just available but the site like shit itself let me go find this uh, back to the actual website they got a download link over here which if you go to it it like it actually, oh wait, get the CD-ROM drivers for your CD-ROM working in DOS. A DOS, oh my lord. Crusader music, mod files, and then you got the Win, oh my god, Winamp skins? Oh shit. I don't know how long anybody was available, but like, Winamp used to be this like, Winamp used to be the shit when it came to like, listening to music on your computer back in the old days, and like, everyone, every game, every, like back in the days, like whenever you went to like a game website, and you went to their download section, they had like screenshots, media, but every single one of them, I swear to god, every single one of them had like the Winamp link, where like you could download this Winamp shit, and, and like, customize your music player with that, it was actually pretty, pretty fucking, it, that, that's actually nostalgic shit, dude, so that's what, that's what there would look like, Crusader, no regret, let's go back to their, um, let's go back to WEC, so there's nothing there, well, let's go to screenshots, actually, real quickly, so it doesn't seem like the game's even out, and if it's not out now, that means the game is fucking gone, like, it's 17 years old at this point, so they got, like, screenshots, this is how they see the multiplayer, oh my god, it almost looks like, um, it looks like Fallout too. Remember, I don't know how many people remember uh, the old school Fallout games, but they were uh, they were isometric as shit. So this actually reminds me of what like th doesn't this kind of look like Fallout Three, like the vault of Fallout Three, just a little more colorful and shit. And uh, that, that's actually kind of cool, dude. That's, that's actually really nice. So they got one screenshot, and that's of multiplayer. That's how they see multiplayer. I don't know how that would work. I don't even know what kind of a game this is. Is this like a turn based kind of game? Because I'd be down for it. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm playing through that game Divinity 2 recently, so if, it, if it's anything like that, dude, I'd be all game for that. Let's go to weapons. Let's see, let's see what kind of weapons they've got. Weapons. Projectile weapons. So they've got an RP-32 pacifist sem... <laughs> how, do you, how do you have a fucking pacifist semi-auto assault rifle? I mean, unless it shoots, like, pepper gas, then <laughs> sure. 
Wait, a standard infantry weapon of all WC military forces. The RP-32 can be fitted with optical electronic sights to increase effective range. It's constructed entirely of plastic grades, ballistic, uh, pl pl plastics, ballistics, the fuck, and fires a frictionless, caseless 30, uh, point 30 round. It normally fires a 60-round mag and is preset to fire in three-round bursts. Standard options include shoulder sling and bipod mount. But the bi bi bipod mount. Oh my god, can I read? I'm so fucking stupid. They've got the SGA1 conformer shotgun. The, my, the, first of all, this scheme fucks with my eyes, dude. It's like everything is blurry now because of the whole like dark blue and black. The deadly anti-personal weapon is standard issue for ride control and urban security units. It fires a 13 gram fragmenting shell. It better have a non-lethal option because if you're gonna fire like 12 gauge rounds for crowd control or riot control, that's I don't know what kind of a future we live in. Reaper riot gun. Okay, one of the most devastating anti-personal weapons. It fires twice the rate. Okay, so it's like a better shotgun. They've got the AR-7 Spitfire rocket launcher. Looks like a fucking rifle, dude. Uh, unique unique round fired by the AR-7. I can immediately after discharge uh, ablates to release three self-propelled micro-missile rounds which take off from their point of origin in a fan formation, encompassing an arc of roughly 45 degrees. The Rico canister round is 9 centimeters long and 6.3 centimeters in diameter, and the individual micro-missiles are 5 centimeters long. Okay, grenade launcher, you got the molecular fucking inhibitor crystallizer, what the fuck? That's like the, that's like the, that's like the power weapon. Oh no, oh no, the sight's all glitched up, fuck. Don't crash on me, I swear to God. All right, wait a minute. It's, it's, the site's having a problem. We got we got to, like, chill out for a minute. So here they got, like, all the links to all their other uh, Crusader members. So these are basically people who are actually on the team for, for the game Crusader. I don't even think the game has actually ever come out now, but... Hey, we found a game on the Dank Web. Unfortunately, there's no downloadable demo or anything like that. I mean, I have to look for it, really. But for now, we found an interesting game, an isometric indie game being made. But hey, for some reason, it just doesn't have any uh, support behind it. Let's get out of here and hit up some other shit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we seem to have a 15-minute video downloaded on my end about a, um, well, got a blank screen over here. So I figured I might as well just download it and see what this shit's all about and uh, hit it up and, uh, and see just what, we, what we've come across, ladies and gentlemen. We got that blank. Now, it's about 50 minutes. I don't know if I'm going to – this is like a rare thing. The last time I ever had something like 50 minutes-wise was that thing we found about – was, uh, was I think, Etika's live, uh, live stream of the Deep Web. I think his first ever one, which is actually archived. So let me go hit up and play and see what we got. What the fuck? Okay, that's my disclaimer. Jesus fucking Christ. Wait a minute. He hates me in life in all 15 – Okay, all right. This is a, you know what? Second time we found this shit, a low resolution version of uh of, of of me. But this time we got a whole episode. If you remember last time, I don't remember what episode it was, but I found the mankind habit section of my deep web browsing episode. Now the significant part about that episode, at least, if I wait, what what which one is this? I should have the I should have the numbering, obviously, right in the beginning, which fades out. Let me see which one it is. But I remember back then we had the um. We had the uh, we had the mankind habit, and that was about the reason why that was really significant for me was that that was the one site that actually tried to dox my information out for the public, and because of it, they actually did manage to dox out a cell phone number at the time, which I received numerous messages from. Uh, so yeah, that that was a significant. Hello, portion. guys, and we got deeper browsing sixty nine. Wait a minute, is this is this potentially the one? No. Okay, first of all, let's see what the site is. So remember, I remember like when I first started this off, all right, it's obviously low resolution. The actual, it's more like a fucking, it looks like some 720p-esque rip. But going into it, it cover, or the first site I covered in this was dark, oh my god, I remember how cringy I made that edit too. Where it was like, you got like that side of the, oh my god, what are these faces? Now I don't understand why everyone has fun pausing my videos. I look like an absolute dumbass when I come to, like, editing this shit. But here you got the one website I covered was Dark Red Room, which is Red Room Enthusiast. These are all the scam sites, and I always like to focus on them just because they're always the ones that are easy to find, and people actually do fall for this shit legitimately. And as I can go through, then then it was, like, then it was, what is this, Fuck the Censors, Solo Resolution, that, like, reading it's kind of a, kind of, a, oh, you got the Alex Jones shit over there. This was the one where we came across a video of the Bohemian Grove. All right. And going further into it, was this the one video where the people found like the meme of me having like the really fucking deranged face or something? I mean, all of them really look like that. This is the one where we found the Brendan Fraser website. 
which is an oddity that it still exists. And the Beatles never broke up, which was a conspiracy theory about a man found a uh, Beatles uh, album that never got released. And going further into it, it just – then we looked at the free bank, which is the world's Bitcoin – which doesn't fucking exist anymore. And then that was it. That was actually all the videos. Now, Full wealthy people here's on the, the fucking weird thing. I need to have some reason as to why this exists because the thing is, is like – I don't like obviously I make a video every Sunday. Why the fuck is episode number 69? Is it 69? Yeah, it's 69. That's available. I mean, obviously it's not just for the fact that oh, 69 Hello, blah, guys blah, blah, and blah, gals, blah, blah. me welcome. Uploaded. Now, it's kind of off cuz I think I think it was episode 60 to 70 that I did find the mankind mankind habit shit. Let me actually look at it. Wait. Wait, let me let me look this up. I think I, I think I can find what the archive was. Let me look at it on YouTube real quick. Mankind habit. No, that was episode forty three. So why the fuck is sixty nine the thing? What is episode number six? Wait, let me look up deep web browsing episode number sixty nine real quick. Open up Google Chrome. Yeah, 69 was abandoned schools, and if I go into it and hit play, that means at some point, yeah, this is just a whole video rip, and it was a pretty popular one too, almost reaching about a million uh, viewers worldwide, so yeah, it was an interesting video that I released, that was published 2016, so that's published, holy fucking shit, that was published like just over a year ago, that would actually mean, if I look at it right now, it's a... Wait a minute, 16 would have been, yeah, that was like the day after, that was actually, this would have, if I had found this video like a week ago, this would have been the actual, this would have been the fucking, what was it, this, this would have easily been the deep web browsing anniversary of me finding this fucking video, that's, that's mentally psychotic, dude, that's about a year ago that shit existed, holy fuck. Um, I guess you could tell that by the numbering, but yeah, it seems like for some reason I found a exact year ago rip of my video, which is low resolution as shit. There's nothing really terribly special about this. Free bank, you got Beatles never broke up, you got this fucking Brendan Fraser video, and you got, yeah, none about this is incredibly special. None of this is like, you know, it's just weird. Yeah, we're going to back out of this and go hit up some other shit. What the fuck? All right, so here we got humanleather.co.uk. Sorry, you got you got human written pretty specially, so it's exclusive real human leather products. So human leather, uh, so apparently it's a UK based firm. Human leather is made from real, full thickness human beings, human skin. What the fuck? Thickness? You forget you spelled it wrong. It's supposed to be two C's. Just like animal leather products produced from lesser animals, a raw human skin is transferred into the finest grade human leather by using a traditional tanning process. However, human leather is a, are we not going to get over the fact this is made from live human being? Not live. I mean, hopefully they're dead before they get fucking skin. Jesus. It is free from defects and has the smallest grain size, which makes the smoothest, softest leather on earth. Why is it that the best shit technically has to come from the most taboo sources, you know what I mean? So apparently these people make human... So wait, human leathers produced from skin sourced from normal everyday people. These people have bequeathed their skin to us prior to their death. There are... Oh, so it's like the donor list, but they just say, here, you can have our skin once we die. So I guess... From a moral, ethical standpoint, it's less fucked than you would think. There are a few areas of the body, back and abdomen, which have uninterrupted skin coverage and are therefore the best for processing into human leather. Is this illegal? Not at all. How? Really? You tell me that human leather isn't fucking illegal? Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, I don't have to check. However, this is an expensive business, and raw material is not cheap to produce or process. Plus, there is official hindrance along the way. We value our donors, and we reward their beneficiaries and of kin very handsomely. In fact, we have had to turn away some potential donors, so we can accept only the highest quality human skin. We cannot give you the source of our raw product. We apologize. Why are your products so expensive? We cater to a small but highly discerning clientele. Man... Who the fuck, how rich you are, are buying human leather, motherfucker? How? What? Why? Why would you do that, all right? Why? <laughs> what the fuck? Like, sometimes I wonder, dude, like, why? What, what? 
how expensive like even if you could afford it why the fuck would you do it it's so ethically fucked there, do you have any product for demonstration we do with the raw material that is very precious and that's quite difficult to acquire all since our clients have varied taste we only start production after receiving an order therefore we may not have a physical product to show at all times some of our clients have also explicitly stated they do not want that want the item that we create for them to be advertised in any way as they would like to remain anonymous do you have any pro photographs of the finished articles? We do not need to take any pictures of the hand and finished articles. In fact, our clients generally like to maintain their privacy and therefore, just like the interiors of super yachts, our creations are for our clients' eyes only. We apologize for this. We are considering taking, yeah, except with the super yacht, most of their most of their owners like to show that shit off. I'm sure if I like said, uh, here's my shiny new Mercedes, but yeah, the leather inside it, it's human leather. Yeah, I, whew. People would be looking at me with all eyes open. It's like, yeah, that's a, that's a nice Lamborghini you got there. Oh, what's the leather made out of? Humans? <laughs> I mean, for for a car that's worth several hundred grand, I'm only going to have the finest fucking leather. <laughs> yeah, I can assume how pissed people would get. What is the delivery time? We endeavor to go from initial order to finished product as quickly as possible. However, the time limit is dependent on many factors, and thus is open to amendment. There are times when we are sourcing the optimum leather, and there may be a slight delay in such cases. There have been times where we've had multiple orders at the same time, and in the case, we must work on a first-come, first-served basis when working through the waiting list. We cannot divulge what the waiting list is at any particular moment in time. Suffice to say, we make a limited number of products due to the sensitive nature of the business and raw materials. We have also imposed a quota on ourselves, and once that is reached, we cost... We cease production for the year. We apologize. We cannot divulge this figure. Okay. All right. That's the FAQ section of it. The home section. Oh, look at that. The site doesn't fucking work anymore. Wow. Who the, who the fucking thought? History. Welcome to Human Leather. We are specialists in producing exquisite and exclusive. Yeah, we know. All right. We, we know. We know. What is human leather? It's made from real thickness. Hu Why? Why real thickness human skin? Why can't you just say real human skin? Why do they gotta be thick? Just like animal leather products produced from lesser animals where to come from are used by, wait, human leathers used by anatomists, tannists, and medical scholars over the ages to bequeath life into their works and writings. And the long part of the social and religious taboos. However, we as a group have decided that humans can't benefit from humans can be reduced to brother in an elegant and artistic form. Jesus Christ. Human leather products. Yeah, show me some human leather products, dude. Show me some belts. Show me some wallets. Show me some shoes. None of them. Okay, so wait. How much is the cost of... Okay, so wait. Let's see the cost of this. How much is a belt? From about 15000 US dollars. Human leather shoes, $27,000. Think about how fucked it is. You're walking in shoes that... You're walking in the coverings of a dead human... Day in, day out. Jesus. Human leather wallet is about 14000 You're stuffing your paper bills into a dead person's skin. <laughs> oh, my God. You can't make this shit up. How do I pay? We will give you the details on how to pay. If you become a client of ours, you can go through in terms of time and ask for full payment in advance. Uh, oh, wait. Full payment. Yeah, of course. Till date, we have never had an article returned due to defects, and we aim to return this unblemished record. Oh, well, yeah. I mean. Good, good, for, good for you. God bless. Well, they care about the quality. They give you exclusive real human leather products, and for some fuck all reason, they're not illegal. They have people donating their flesh to them, and those people that donate get get a handsome reward, apparently. So hey, if you're ever in the market for some human leather, you know, fi finally fresh from the United Kingdom itself, well, you've got the website over here. So hey, if you want to get in touch and get some human leather, by all means, go ahead. I'm not going to judge you, and nobody should judge you. Live your life the way you want to live it, as long as you're not hurting anybody. And I guess if these guys aren't kidnapping and killing people and skinning them, and they're just getting donations from already dead people, then who am I to question their moral fuckery? Let's, let's get out of here. And ladies and gentlemen, that is another episode of Bank Web Browsing, episode 121, the basically anniversary, I guess, of episode uh, 69, as we evidence today. And uh, from numerous other uh, numerous other things that we've come across, a lot, a lot of a lot of exposés, a lot of uh, a lot of leather that we could buy from from fucking human beings or some stupid shit like that, ladies and gentlemen. I am genuinely uh, surprised a little bit. And uh, at the end of the day, we found some interesting stuff. Not 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 just conspiracy theories up the ass. Well, conspiracy theories in of itself, but we found an amalgamation of conspiracy theories. I think today has been an interesting day. And I hope you enjoy this Sunday. Hope you have a great day. You know, wherever you're going to, wherever you're coming from, wherever you're going, having having a good old time. This is me, Mudahar. And if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike it. I need, I need to get my sanity back.